Hi, it's Sophie Keen Drunk, uh, back again with yet another attempt at nail review. What I've got to review just now is one of these uh, sort of new ones uh, from the Newcastle Brown uh, stable, and it's the Newcastle Brown Summer Ale, 4.4 on the Richter scale. Comes in a little 355 mil bottle. I have seen some of the uh, reviews of uh, this on uh, YouTube, some mixed reviews, but. I'm a great believer in uh, having a go at these things myself. Uh, Newcastle Brown, the original one, was uh, a beer that uh, got me into drinking. Oh, it's probably oh, the stepping stepping stone into drinking like real ales. Uh, it is an old favourite of mine. So I, I really have to revisit it. Uh, through I've got several of these uh, ones to to review. So anyway, it's a boring old bottle crown on that one. The summer ale. It's classed as a golden ale, which is unusual for Newcastle, but everyone knows the brown. So anyway, we'll go in here for the pour. Let's see what like it is. There you go. First impressions. Sort of a uh, well, it's classing itself as golden. I wouldn't say golden. Well, there's a little tinge of gold in there, but very, 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 very dark. I would really uh, class that. Used to be a pale ale. Used to get a few years back. I don't think you can get it anymore. The whip bread, very, very similar to a whip bread uh, ale. But we'll go in here and see what the summer ale from Newcastle Stable has to offer. Go in here and see for the nose. Right away you're getting a little bit of a, you're getting a very, very fruity smell from it. Slight, very, very slight grapefruit. There is citrus in there, a little bit of a, little bit of lemon. There is a little bit of honey as well. Maybe a little bit of a, well, I would say the caramel. Coming through there. Actually smells quite nice to be honest with you. So anyway, I'm going to go in here for the Newcastle Summer Ale. See what it's all about. 4.4 4, 4 on the Richter scale. Let's see what it's all about. Slangeva. really really does taste different uh, to what you get in the nose. On the nose it's very very pleasant. On the taste buds it's not as zesty as you're getting on the nose. Lovely citrus uh, fruit but they seem to be very very dull in the taste. It seems to be masked uh, by caramel. A very sort of dry dryness to it. Very very what would you say? Kind of harsh dryness to it. I think what they're trying to do here is like sell it as a one for to, to compete against lager. Uh, call it a summer ale. Have it nice and cold. Uh, sell it as lager. But in all, in all honesty, like a lager on a, a hot day, you would go for that instead of this. It's, it's I'm not saying it's bad. It's just, uh, it actually smells better than what it tastes. It's one of those ones, a bottle of that, and maybe a couple of couple of whiskies or a couple of brandies or something on the side, you could easily nurse your way through. But in all honesty, it's nothing special to be honest with you. I'm going to put on the eye furniture and see what it says in the back of the bottle. See if you can throw up any light on it at all. Uh, Oh, talking about sea breezes in the Newcastle. Still the Geordies are a hard breed. In the summer the lads and the lassies hit the beach in the local resort of Whitley Bay. Here they can stick their toes in the North Sea where the temperature peaks in the summer at a bracing 15 degrees. The refreshing gold nail is sure to turn heads on the beach this summer. Enjoy. It's, it's okay to be honest with you. It's nothing special. 
Newcastle uh, summer ale. If you see it, have a go at it. I'll uh, go in here and have a go at it again, but in all honesty, it's not a thirst quencher for the summer. Your taste buds, if I touch on it, like so, you, you, with the aroma coming from it, it's got a lovely zestiness coming from it, and, and the taste buds are expecting that when it hits the tongue, and then it's like a uh, it's like throwing water on a fire. Taste buds are all fired up for it and then it's, you're just dampened them. Very, very fustery taste, I would say. Kind of fustery, um, kind of dampening taste to the taste buds. As I said, it's okay, nothing special. Uh, is it one I revisit? I would quite possibly revisit this if I was having a nice uh, bottle of cooking whiskey and I wanted a beer or two just to sit on the side with it. It's just, to me, it's nothing special from the Newcastle stable. So anyway, I'm going to give the Newcastle Summer Ale 4.4 on the Richter scale by the Newcastle Brown people. I'm going to give that just a bit of pass mark. I'm going to give that a Sofa King drink. <laughs> Sofa King drunk, 5 out of 10. So anyway, if you see it, have a go at it. If you're uh, loyal to the Newcastle, that's why I've had a go at it. Uh, in all honesty, it's nothing special. So anyway, so freaking drunk. If you've had a go at the summer ale, give us a shout below. And if you're stuck on at the end of the video, just for that. And so freaking drunk, I'll see you in another beer review. Joy for now.